In this session, we're going to look at importing and referencing legacy design data. I'm going to start by uh, importing a DGN file. Notice when I import this, I can select which model, I can select the uh, what I want to do with the attachments, how I want to map the objects. Once I import this into the drawing, I can do a zoom extents and we can see the geometry. I'm going to do a quick regen here to clean up the line types. So all of this geometry has been imported from a native DGN file into the AutoCAD or Civil 3D environment. Next we'll X-reference a DGN. I'm going to type X-ref to bring up the X-ref manager. Notice that we can select DGN files. This time I'm going to bring in the proposed geometry. Let me click open. And once again I can select uh, the model. I can select my insertion point and scale. In this case I'm not going to uh, set those. I'm going to let the coordinate system determine that. If I zoom in and hover, you can see that highlighted. There's my uh, my DGN reference. If I select it in the reference manager, it highlights in the drawing, very similar to how we see in MicroStation. If I zoom in, we can see the proposed uh, box culvert right there. Let me close the reference manager. Next, we're going to talk about uh, data. What if we have data in our project? Can we incorporate that as well? On the toolbox, if I go to the Civil 3D Engineering Data Translator, I can import native inroads and geopack data. In this case, I'm going into that same project and I'm grabbing an ALG file because I'd like to leverage the alignments from this project. When I select that data, it uploads it to the cloud. Uh, I can then bring up the job monitor and I can view the progress of the uh, conversion. Once the conversion is finished, I can download that to my local machine. Here I'm downloading it into, the, uh, into a folder called Conversions. Now that I've downloaded it, we'll take a look at that file. I'm going to go into the Conversions folder and I'll select the uh, converted content. It, it comes up in a Civil 3D drawing. If I hover over these objects, I can see these are Civil 3D alignments now. And now that I've validated the uh, the geometry in this file. I'm going to reference it into my other drawing. I'm going to close this without saving. Let's go back to XREF and I'm going to X-reference a DWG at this time. We'll go into that same conversions folder and I'll select that DWG file containing the alignments. I'll click OK. Same as before, if I highlight the uh, reference we can see the geometry highlight, highlighted in the drawing. Now this is a little busy but we can see the alignments there. Uh, there's the one for the detour, there's my alignment for the center line of the road. I'm going to do uh, one more quick check. I'll close the palette and uh, since everything is uh, geospatially referenced I'm going to insert the coordinate system that was used for this geometry. And when I click OK I can go into uh, Civil 3D's online map tool and I can turn on an aerial photo. Uh, I can use this to uh, further validate the location of my geometry to make sure everything is, is positioned where it should be.